Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. This is Daz and Sense with Chris, and I'm Chris, and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So I was tagged by staff, the Scented Gemini, to take part in a tag video that was started, I think Melissa Johnson hates started it, um, the ones we wish we had. So basically it's bars that we wish we had in our club and we don't, um, whether we took them out of our club and then we regretted it or we never put them in and then regretted it or we were not in in a Sensi consultant or a Sensi buyer at the time and didn't even have the opportunity to put it in a club. Maybe we picked it up in a flash sale or whatnot, which is pretty much where I got my bars. Now, I have not been with Scentsy very long. I started selling Scentsy, it's been, well, coming up in a year. It was August of 2022. Um, so I don't have many that I have regrets on. Um, I have picked up bars along the way in flash sales and bundles that were offered that, um, yeah, I really liked and I wish I had the opportunity to put them in a club. And I'm just thinking of one right now and I have to write it down because I don't have a clam for it. Because I'll forget because I forget everything. Okay. So, I don't have very many. I have 10 here plus the one I just wrote down. Um, oh, I have another one. This is crazy. So if I do ever see these come back for a vote or bring back my bar, I'm going to take the opportunity then to get them. So fingers crossed. Some of these, I prob they probably won't come back. The first one is actually a newer scent. It was, I believe this was the scent of the month in August when I first, well, maybe it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I lied. I don't remember. I don't know when, but I think this is a fairly new bar. And it's Coral Waters. Um, I don't know if this was a scent of the month or not. I don't, maybe it wasn't. Anyway, I really like this bar. I know I thought it was my very, this is one of my very first scents that I have purchased with um, Scentsy. Um, yeah. So, and I like this bar. I liked it immediately when I first started warming it. And I'm going to say it was like, I think it was about June of last summer that I had, this came, I had ordered this when I got, I got in like a bundle deal or something. And it's just so pretty. It's, it has a little bit of an orange scent to it, not much, but it's floral, it's aquatic, um, it's fresh, it's clean. I like the scent. Um, so yeah. Coral Waters. That would be one of them. Another one that I picked up, this I believe, it must have come in a bundle because it wasn't a Bring Back My Bar for me anyway. I think it just came in a bundle and has the Bring Back My Bar sticker. And that's Flower Child. I really like this one. Um, I do like floral scents. I enjoy floral scents. And this is just such a beautiful floral. I don't even have the scent notes to tell you what's in it, but I like it. It's nice. It's not an over-the-top floral. It's just soft. It's pretty. <clears throat> and those are the florals that I like. Those soft notes. Feminine. Very feminine. So there's that one. Flower Child. This one here... This looks like this came out of like a collection of sorts, and it's the Find Your Happy collection. In fact, I have two bars. Again, I don't know where I got them or how I obtained them. Um, but this one here, I'm hanging on to it. I haven't even melted it yet because I think I'll be sad if I don't have it later. I don't know. I just, even just to open it up and smell it makes me happy. And that one is, and see, it's Find Your Happy, and this bar makes me happy. This one is Taste of Summer. Um, 
I don't know if collection bars ever come back for a vote, but this one here is hands down an identical scent for Lipton iced tea. <clears throat> and I'm talking about the iced tea that back when I very have memories of this was when I was a kid. 12, 13, 14. <clears throat> so we're going back some years. I'm not telling you how many. But um, used to come in a can. A round can. And there was a scoop in it. And you'd put it in there. You'd add the water. You'd stir it up. And you'd get like this foam on the top. And just a nice tea mix. And... Every time I smell this, oh, what I wouldn't give to go back. It just, that's, that's what I remember. We didn't have pop in our house. Um, you know, my father was always big on drink water, drink water. So this really was what we had in our home that was, a sugar type drink. I mean, once in a while, my mother would get some Kool Aid packets and whatnot, but and I don't even remember liking Kool Aid that much. But I do remember this, and this is just this makes me happy, and that's exactly what that collection was supposed to do, apparently, because it says find your happy, and this this is it. This makes me happy, and if I had had the opportunity. I would have clubbed this bar. So, maybe if it ever comes back. Now, the other one from the Find Your Happy collection is Showered in Flowers. This is just, oh my God, like this bar is a mess. This is such a beautiful scent. Now, I feel like there is a little bit of a, a sweet fruit here, maybe ever so slight, mixed in with the floral. Um, I took this bar to work with me to warm it. And as it was warming, <coughs> excuse me, I was sitting in my office and I was like, and I was just smelling it, trying to figure out what does that smell like, and it just—it was just a nice smell, and it was like, and I says, I feel like, you know, it smells like just took a shower, and then I realized, oh, so that's the name of the bar, showered in flowers. So yeah, it was like a shower scent, with maybe you know the soap that very floral, but a clean floral. And yeah, it's just, it's pretty. It's just so nice. And had I had the opportunity, I would have warmed it. I warmed it. Oh my God. I would have clubbed it. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. This is my second video and it's very late here. Um, okay. The next one is Huckleberry Sage. It's got a rubber band on it because the the lid doesn't stay closed. This one here, again, it was a collection of some sort. Love it. It's interesting. Yeah, every time I smell it, it's interesting. It smells like, um, like a scented toy. Um, that's just my cat. I don't know what he's doing. It's so pretty. It's just, yeah, this is just a nice scent. And I really like this a lot. It is light. It's a light scent. But I I would love this like in my bedroom. It's very just, it's just like calming. You get the sweetness from the huckleberry. I guess the sage is there, but it's very slight. It's not like, you know, in your face. Um sage but it's it's yeah this one's nice i do like it if it ever comes back i would definitely put it in my club because it's different um i did again i took this one to work with me as well 
and I warmed it at work and uh, this one's pretty very nice the other one is lush gardenia um, I have quite I got like four of these bars because I picked them up in a flash sale that I do remember this is beautiful this is well it was weird here in a cold sniff I would tell you this is a super strong bar I don't know if maybe it was just the airflow in my room it was I put this out in my living area and it was a whole bar because I had I think I had you know seven or eight warmers and it wasn't as strong as I thought it would be I thought this was gonna blow me out of the house I thought oh what did you do you shouldn't have put that many um however I still think it's a strong bar and I would not fool around and put a, a crap ton of cubes because it's strong and it smells like gardenia and I like it I like florals I like a floral set in the spring summer months I want to smell I want my house to smell like outside in a garden I want it to smell pretty um, and that's why I gravitate towards the floral and the oceanic and the more perfumey because I just I want I want that pretty smell in this in the winter time and in the fall I want those that's when I want the heavier scents but in the summer I want those just those light airy notes and this is a nice floral I wish this would come back so I'd have the opportunity to put it in my club okay so I'm gonna go on to some more of the sweeter scents I got I just got this in the in the recent flash sale and because the flash sales are so crazy the way they are I bought one of each collection and called it a day I checked out and I was gone had I not done that because it turned out the other bars that are in there that came in the other collections a lot of them I've already had Good portion of them I didn't care for um, but this bakery collection which is again out of my wheelhouse had one two three four that I really liked um so yeah I'm sorry instead of getting all five the collection I think they had five collections available I'm sorry I just didn't get five of these because that would have been Hands down, totally worth it. So the first one here is Vanilla Waves. I really like this vanilla. Um, I like this vanilla a lot. This is beautiful. It's just, oh God, it's just, it's just good. It's a nice vanilla scent. Now, I know we had the Bring Back My Bar in the fall, and there was um, Vanilla Cream. Um, well, it wasn't fall. It was in January. <clears throat> Excuse me. January. And um, I need some water. Um, yeah. The Vanilla Cream was just okay. I like this Vanilla Waves much, much better. Much better. Okay. So the next one is Red, White, and Berry Pie. I did have this. I think I have two bars. One came in that collection, I had, and I had another bar that I've already warmed through. I do like this one. I like this one because I get a good cherry note in here and I could smell the pastry crust on this which is just a nice little uh, bonus because I love cherry cherry is I'm, I absolutely love cherry I don't know why but I do I just love it I love the smell of cherry and this just to me I know it's 
yeah, berry pie, but I smell cherries and it smells amazing. And I can smell the pastry crust. I really like this. So again, I would like this in my club. <clears throat> this one here, I could smell this all day, every day, into next week. And that's almond croissant. Oh my God. I, this is the only bar I have. Somehow, some way, I don't know, but my boyfriend had a bar of it. I think he got that from, I had had a party, uh, you know, before I was a consultant. And my consultant, who's a friend of mine, it's actually my grandson's other grandmother. So her son, my daughter. Okay. Uh, so I had a party. She did my party and she did like a giveaway thing. And, um, and she had sent Jerry a box of, you know, sensey goodies in it. And this bar was in there. And he had warmed it. And I remember I came over that day and I was like, oh my God, it's so good. It's amazing. It is like the best almond scent that I have smelled to date. Yeah, it is just really, really good. It's, oh God. I want to kick myself. I wish I had bought five bakery scent, bought scent collections and called it a day instead of buying one of each. Because I've got an entire box of wax down there. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it because most of it I really don't like at all. But this, oh, that's good. Okay, and here's another one. And I've heard a lot of consultants talk about this, um, about this bar. And it was in the wax collection, that the bakery collection that was on the flash sale. And that's breakfast in bed. And I've heard a lot of people say, oh, they love it, they love it, and it's great. But when I opened it, I could see why. It is so good. You can smell maple syrup in here. Maple syrup, maybe a muffin. There's some kind of berry in it. It is so good. I mean, oh my God. So good. And it's the only bar I have. So I'm kind of like, oh. I guess I'm going to hang on to these till fall. And in the fall, on a day that I know I'm going to be home, and I'm not going anywhere, and I don't have anything to do, and, you know, I'm not watching any of my grandkids, that I could actually just be home and enjoy this. So I could really, really get the full enjoyment out of that. Okay, so, the two I wrote down. I've already warmed it, so I don't even have the clam. And I would really like to see this one come back, and it's stargazing. That was such a unique scent. And yeah, I would, yeah, I really want to see that one come back. Um, I do, I, I like that so much. Um, it reminded me of... There's a gum from back in the day. I can't remember. I don't know which one I'm thinking of because I'd have to actually buy the two and smell them. Um, one of them was called Tea Berry and the other one was called, um, oh my gosh, it's Slippy, Beeman's. I'm not sure which one. I think it might have been the Beeman's. Was it Beeman's gum? Yeah, Beeman's. It just, it, it has a, there's a scent in there. It smells like that gum. It's just a nice, nice scent. My cat is flipping out. I don't know if you can hear him. He's really upset right now. Um, yeah, I would really, really like to see Stargazing come back too. And the other one is, 
because I just got done warming it. And this did, was one of the ones that did come out of my flash uh, sale collection. Um, it was fresh cut daisies. Oh, I like that. That was so pretty. And that went a long time. Because I've been, I'm going to be honest, I've been lazy with my wax lately. I've just, I don't know. I just feel like I've just been going all over the place. I'm very busy lately, and I don't know. I'm just babysitting and clients and just a lot. So just the past few weeks, I've been super busy, and I've been lazy about changing the wax. That wax went in my bedroom for five days, I think. It was a long time. And then I got the Tahitian Twilight came in, and I was like, okay, let me, I'm going to put this in my bedroom. That fresh cut daisies was like, it was a really, it was a super fresh flower. It was, it did, it was fresh and it was light and it was, um, I know there's no lemon in it, but it had a lemony scent, like a lemony floral. Um, it was just, yeah, it was really, really nice. I really enjoyed that fresh cut daisies and I'm sorry I didn't warm it out in my living area because... I didn't get to enjoy it as much in the bedroom. I mean, how often are you in the bedroom, right? Um, yeah. So, but I was afraid. I thought, oh, what if it's not strong enough? I said, then I'm going to waste it. And so I put it in the bedroom. But I think it was strong enough to be melted out in the open and it would have been done well. So, yeah, that's what I've got. I want to thank st um, Steph from the Scented Gemini. She's just so sweet. Um... She had beautiful, sweet things to say about my channel and me, and that made me happy. And I enjoy her channel, so look her up if you're not already subscribed. She's the Scented Gemini. Um, I love it when she does her wax hauls. She's informative. Um, she's just, she's pleasant. She's perky. She's just, she's young. She's fresh. She's got a lot of energy, a good energy vibe. And, um, yeah, she's got a good channel. Give her a shot. She's fairly new, like myself. I think she, well, I don't know, a few months, just a few months I think she came in. But, uh, yeah, she does live a lot of the vendor wax. She does Scentsy. Um, yeah, check her channel out. She's got some good, good content. And so for this one, I, I didn't know who to tag. Um, I'm, so I'm going to tag Linda H. Um, I like Linda's channel. Um, she's very calm when she talks and it's like, it's just nice. I could just sit and watch her and listen to her. And she's just, she's calm and, and, and so relaxed. Uh, so I do, I enjoy watching her channel. She's got some, uh, she's got great hauls. Um, Good wax collection, good knowledge with Sensi. I think she's been with Sensi a while. Um, I, I'm pretty sure, just by the way, you know. Now the other one I want to tag, and I should have checked because she's fairly fairly new to me. Um, I actually just found, came across her because I think she subscribed to my channel, then I subscribed to hers. But I actually it was through Vendor Wax. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping she does Sensi. I don't know if she's a consultant or not. I don't know if she purchases Sensi. I should have checked. If she doesn't, then I apologize. Linda H definitely does. And so, but it's Susan Fitzpatrick. Um, like I said, I'm not sure. I hope she does Sensi. Cause I just started watching her videos and I like when usually when I subscribe to a new channel, I like to kind of go back a bit to get, you know, instead of just watching what is freshly uploaded, I like to go back and watch some of the back videos, not all of them because you know, it's only so much time in a day. I haven't done that with her yet. So Susan, I like first number one, I like Susan's accent. I want to say it's a new England accent. I don't know, Susan. You'll have to you'll have to let me know. New England, Maine. I love it. So that's one thing. Um, and I like when she when she's going through her when she's going through her wax descriptions and 
yeah, I just, I just, I like her. She's, she's good. Um, yeah, check her out too. Um, yeah, so those are my two tags. And I am going to sign off for the night because it is really late. And I got to get up tomorrow and change my wax because it needs changing. Okay, everybody, please comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. And you all have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.